website, we're going to conclude in this video. Um, we've actually gone quite a bit, and I know you've watched a series of videos because I'm talking, but like literally, once you know all this stuff, you could build this web page in less than five minutes, which is pretty awesome. So what I want to do is just finish off the website. Uh, a few more f uh, finishing touches here, maybe embed a YouTube video. Ooh, that, that makes sense, right? So let's do that now. Okay, so we've got our table here. Um, it probably makes sense to put another uh, horizontal rule in here, HR, another little line just to break things up. And uh, this time, let's go ahead and pretend, you know, we're trying to sell something, right? So we want to have some bullet points as to why DevSlopes is awesome and amazing. So this time, we're going to use an ordered list, OL, okay? And same format, right? List item, okay? So what I want to do is, in, uh, above this order list here is say, you know, why should you choose DevSlopes, right? So we're going to say this time an H2, a header two, why DevSlopes, it's a little bit smaller than the first. And this item one, so we're going to say real world, real world coding. I like that. Maybe real world could have a dash. Real world, I like the dash, looks good. Real world coding, okay, we build real apps, right? Uh, fun and exciting. Fun and exciting, lots of terrible jokes to go around. Um, this item, affordable, which it is. Some companies charge $200 a month, not dev slopes. You can get all this for a very low price. So real world coding, um, fun and exciting, and affordable. Although I feel like I broke something. Fun and exciting, affordable. Oh, I put a number one here, that's why. That should be an L and a an die. And this is also number one. Wow, that was, wow, what did I do with these number ones here? Okay, <laughs> I'm tripping out. Okay, there you go. Um, so list items, boom, boom, and boom. I like that a lot. Okay, great. Um, now, you're not sold enough, right? You've come to the website, you're starting to feel good, but you're not quite there. So now we need an actual video. Uh, you know, let's make DevSlopes really exciting. So we're gonna go to youtube.com slash C slash DevSlopes. And uh, let's go find a really exciting video here. This fact, this one's great. 8,355 views. This is great. Ooh, what is this ad? Avocados from Mexico. Um, sorry, getting distracted. We do not want any avocados from Mexico. Um, we want American avocados. Dang it. Uh, and, uh, okay, so here's our iframe. Okay, cool. So I just went to the embed, and I grabbed the iframe here, and I'm just going to paste it under the ordered list. Okay. And look at that, that is pretty dang cool, if I do say so myself. Um, wow, I really, yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, we can give it a nice little border too. Frame border, how about one? Yeah, so pretty cool, right? The iframe uh, allows you to embed things. iframe is just a container. Okay, we're not gonna go into all the depths of an iframe. Okay, the best way to learn how to code and build web apps is actually from building full-scale web apps, which we're gonna be doing later in this course. Uh, I really don't like to teach every little thing and break it out because it can be very boring and mundane. Uh, but just know the iframe is available to you and uh, you know you can do lots of different things with it. So now we got this cool video, although I don't like the freeze frame that it really picked on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good here. Okay, and of course you can play it. Red Foo, coder, he's pretty cool. LMFAO, sexy and I know it. Okay, so iframe, uh, that looks good. So wide dev subs, we've now picked it out. You can of course change this. Um, you know, I don't have the aspect ratio dimensions. Um, so, but if I said, let's say 400, and let's say 250. Again, I don't know the aspect ratio. I'm probably stretching it a little bit here, but it's maybe a little bit better, smaller like this, which is fine. Allow full screen is fine, okay. So we'll leave that in there, and let's go ahead and just put another HR just to break things up a little bit here. So our web page is really coming together here, and divide it under there. Uh, last thing we probably want on our page is a contact form of some kind. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make another header. Let's say H2. We're going to say contact us. There we go at the bottom here. And what else do we want here? Uh, how about a form? So we can use the form tag, and we can put some elements in here. So what I want to do is say first name. Okay, scroll down, there's the first name. And what I wanna do is put an input in here. Input type equals text, all right? And see how there's a box there now? 
I don't like how it's on the same line, as you can see down here. Uh, so what I actually want to do is, um, after the first name, I want to break. So BR. And BR, you used to have to put a forward slash in there to close it, but you don't have to do that anymore. Okay, and we're gonna do it again because I still don't like how close it is to the first name. I want a little bit more, a little bit more space. So there we go. There's the first name, uh, and there's the box for the first name. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, uh, and then uh, let's go ahead and put a last name in. So we're gonna say last name, and we're gonna say br. Mm, maybe I'll take this one off, and I'll put the br on here. And we'll do two on this one. There we go. That's better. I like that better. Okay, and let's put another input. Input type equals text. Okay, and we're going to just say, um, actually, this should probably just be name and email. Yeah, let's say email. Okay, type equals text. I like it. And let's do another BR and another BR to break the line, break it up there a little bit. And then let's go ahead and put a button in, okay? Button is gonna say submit, submit, like so. I like it, cool. Um, yeah, well, let's see here. So I wanna show you something here. We have two buttons now. One is actually a button tag and one is an input tag with a value of type um, submit. And a submit is just really a button, and you can use either one. There's no right. There's no one that's better than the other. And both of these can invoke JavaScript. Okay, so you're going to see this um, in this course and other places as well too. And you're also going to see in HTML that you can do more one thing uh, multiple ways. Uh, and so submit and submit. Okay, we're going to leave the button though, just for sake of clarity for right now. And look at this. We've got a contact form. You can put your first name in. Uh, it even refreshes the page. Look at that. Uh, you can put your your name in, your email in. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, welcome to DevSelfs. We've got our links up here, uh, a little bit of um, text here, um, the courses that you can buy, why DevSelfs, and then we've got this uh, video here that you can watch, and uh, it's all coming together. That's it. We've really built um, our first website here, and the crazy thing is, here is the crazy thing. What you just learned here is 95% of uh, the HTML that you'll be using every day. And I'm not saying that you're not gonna use JavaScript and other things, you will. But my point is, um, I started, I was working on um, our website actually, DevSlope's website. And um, in fact, I'll show you right here. I'll show you. We just, at time of recording, uh, we came out with this uh, book, okay? So I'll tell you what I coded up, I coded up today. I slung some code today. I uh, clicked the book tab. I built this whole web page. okay? All right. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and everything that we've basically used, except maybe the uh, image tag, um, really everything that we've used uh, today uh, is what I use. I didn't use anything else. In fact, I didn't even use tables. I used, uh, right here, I used uh, an unordered list, took off the bullet points. And these are just P tags here. This is like an, H an H2 or an H1. Um, this is just a button. <laughs> this is just a header here. This is another, uh, this one's an unordered list. Uh, the only one I haven't showed you is an image, which I'm going to actually show you right now. How do we get, you know, uh, images on our website? Uh, of course, what kind of coding website uh, do we have uh, without having some type of image? Um, so let's just see what the internet has to say about dev slopes. Um, let's go to images. Oh, look at this, a nice little logo. I like that a lot. View image. Let's go ahead and just take this image here a logo for our website, all right? And let's go over here to our website and maybe inside the body, we're just gonna place an image. IMG source equals, we're gonna paste in the image, okay? And press save and see what happens. And look at that, we have a nice little image here. Actually, it's pretty huge, um, but cool. We got an image on our website. And uh, I think that's pretty darn cool. Things we're probably going to want to do, um, just for sake of completion, is give it an alternate tag, um, Dev Slopes logo. This is in case the image can't load for some reason, or um, let's say accessibility, someone's blind, uh, and their computer reads to them. It's going to say, you know, Dev Slopes logo, and it's going to read it out to them. So we want to put that in there. Um, and also, uh, I don't like how big it is at all. 
Um, let's just assume it's a square. It may not be, but we're going to say height. Let's say 100 and uh, set the width to 100 as well too. Okay. Everything always, of course, in double quotes as we've been doing in this uh, video so far. And let's go ahead and go find our live preview. There we go. And as you can see, the image is resized, which is pretty cool. Maybe it makes more sense to put the logo in front of the welcome to dev slopes. So I think I want to, well, I guess it is there. It's just, uh, it brought it down on the new line because of the header there. Okay. So yeah, I think it's fine. So there you have it. We've got an image. Um, I could have put this in a table if I wanted to make my logo next to this here. Should I do it? Okay. Okay. We'll make another table. We'll make another table. Um, again, you don't have to work with tables uh, in the new HTML uh, because you have CSS, of course. Uh, so what I want to do is this time only have two columns. And in the first column, we're going to have the logo like this. Okay. Boop. And the second one's going to have the header like so. We'll put it right in there. Boop. Save it. Okay, cool. Welcome to DevSlopes. There's the logo. Okay, there are the uh, three links. Now, of course, do you want to be linking an image from a random Twitter page? Probably not, because it may not always be available. We'd probably want to download it and reference it locally, but this is fine for now. Our website is coming together. So that video, this video is done. What I want you to do, okay, is I want you to finish this website, add more things to it, or if you have your own product or idea, uh, go ahead and build your own similar website using the tools that we have. We've talked about images, we've talked about iframes, we've talked about tables and order lists and unordered lists and paragraphs and HRs and so many things. And that's 95% of what you'll be using every day whenever you're working with HTML, which is pretty cool. You now know what the pros know. So that's it for now. Mark Price at devslopes.com. Moving on and forth.